Hello everyone, this is Jennifer from Junk Journals by Jen, where journaling is about the journey. Today I'm going to take you with me while I work in my one of my Christmas journals for the holiday. And um, it's one we put together the other day with the invisible spine. And I haven't got to the cover yet, so it's just looking pretty plain, but that's okay right now. And I've got um, a Rolodex here of ephemera that I've been collecting for Christmas stuff. And I do have a video on how to make these if you're interested. I'll link it below. Super handy when you're working on a project just to put all your ephemera in one of these and have it ready to go so you can flip through it. And just looking at this, I see right off the bat, I've got a couple of things finished here that are ready to go in. I've got a, looks like a corner pocket. And I don't want to decorate this one real heavily because I really want it I envision this being a writing journal, a place to keep your Christmas list and your to-do list, things like that. But I do want to have some pockets and stuff. So let's see where this one would look really good. Looks pretty on there. I like that. <clears throat> now I told myself that before I started videotaping today, I would get my art glitter glue all going. And guess what I didn't do? <laughs> get my art glitter glue going. But um, I will do that real quick. It always happens if I don't use it for the day, every day, every time I use it the first time of the day, I've got to work on it a little bit. <laughs> okay, there we go. So I'm just going to make this a corner pocket. I love the papers that are in this. The, this picture here came from a magazine. It came from one of those magazines that you buy um, Christmas decor out of. And I just thought it was so cute. I've, most of this stuff came from magazines that were selling Christmas items. Okay, I think that's adorable. Let's look for a tag. You know what? I'll come back and put tags later. Yeah. Got that. And then I've got this. Came from a, another project I'd worked on. And it's just a pocket. Let's go to a different signature. It's got a old fashioned snowman and a Santa and a deer down here. Let's uh, find a place for that. What signature was that in? That was in the first signature. Let's go to the second, look for a spot. Mm -mm. Saving that center. Oh, it looks really cute on there. I like that. And what I'm going to do is make this a double pocket, but I'm leaving the back open here. So I'm just going to do a U shape of glue. All right, loving that. What else do we have here? This, oh, I think I intend this to be a belly band. Let's see if we can find somewhere in the third signature that will look good. Nope. Good on there. I 
actually, I actually do love it on there. I'm trying to do stuff on the other side of the page, so let's look for the back. And what I'm going to do, because this is on magazine, is glue it down to um, some heavier paper first. And I think it's, um, you know, for a belly band, I think it's okay. I don't want to lose the shape of the tree. So let's just keep it that size. Hope everybody is doing well and had a great Thanksgiving. We're heading into Christmas now. Can't even believe it. I'm going to start my Christmas shopping on Monday, I think. And I don't know when this video is going to come out, but Monday it will be Cyber Monday. I don't know that that matters anymore. They really do anything for it or not. But I always feel like I'm missing out if I don't shop on there on uh, Cyber Monday. up just a bit okay I love working in Christmas journals so much fun I've been just itching to work in this one since we made it the other day. All right, I think that is super cute. I have some, what else do I have here? I have some stickers here. Oh, those are so cute. Mary Englebright dimensional stickers. I don't know if you can, how well you can see these, but I can't wait to use these. I don't think this is the right page for it. Look how cute those are though. Okay, we're going to save those for another page. See what else we've got here. I found some uh, Christmas fabric. This is exciting. I would like to do, um, see what we've got in here. Oh, these are really cute. I would like to do some fabric um edge strips and why don't we go ahead and make some of those real quick and add those to the journal i think that would be super cute what we need is a couple of book pages to secure them too set that out of the way
And then I'm just going to um, cut some of these fabrics with my pinking shears. Because they're already pinked into little squares. Don't have to be perfect. I didn't put any uh, lace on the on this one like I do on or have done on some of my other Christmas journals when I made it. So um, I like to have the ruffly fabric, you know, the feel of the fabric. So I'm pretty excited to put some some of this in there. I think texture is so important in a junk journal. The more textures you can get into it, the um, luxury, more luxurious and it looks and feels. Oh, just cut that cute little reindeer in half. Something besides, oh, Christmas trees. That's cute. Something besides another stripe. Oh, <laughs> I'm gonna tell you a funny story. Yesterday was Thanksgiving, right? And um, I had a fire in my oven. So I'm sure some of you can relate to this because my good roasting pan sometime during the year became a um, crafting pan. I <laughs> was dipping paint in it to, to um, paint papers and the paint stuck to the pan. It's just a crafting pan now. So anyway, I had to buy a, well, my husband had to go and get a um, temporary pan, you know, a aluminum foil, big roasting pan. And about halfway through cooking the turkey, you know, picture this, got the turkey in there cooking and you've got every inch of space taken up by casseroles in the, in the oven. And sometime about halfway during cooking, the pan sprung a leak and the whole thing <laughs> leaked not the whole thing but a lot of juice leaked to the bottom of the oven and caught on fire <laughs> and it was a i mean you could see the fire in the oven it was pretty big and so luckily i have been binge watching chicago fire so i knew just what to do and if you've seen the show really doesn't tell you how to <laughs> put out fires at all. But um, I took a cookie sheet and um, took a cookie sheet and I uh, smothered it with it, put the cookie sheet on the bottom, you know, and I'm like moving it this way and the flame would pop up over here and I'd move it that way, you know, on the floor of the oven. And I finally got it out. But if I took the cookie sheet out of the oven, it would, um, I'm just going to use my ruler. It would, it would uh, spring back up. So yeah, very exciting. I will tell you the um, stuffing was smoky. 
had smoked stuffing for Thanksgiving. Can't believe it. Can't believe that. Did anybody else have anything exciting? Something like that. Something, I don't know. I don't want to say um, dramatic or, you know, some kind of catastrophe happened always at Thanksgiving for my mom when I was growing up, it seemed like. I remember one year the microwave short-circuited and sparks went everywhere. She'd accidentally, it was when microwaves first came out, she'd accidentally put... Um, I think I'm going to use some Scotch Create to just put this together. Anyway, they first came out and she put something metal in there. And man, that microwave blew up. There's lots of things like that. I remember pies catching on fire and being thrown in the yard. And um, yeah, there's been lots of fun Thanksgiving stories, but not at my house. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. The saving grace for me is that I, eh, we didn't have a lot of company this year. <laughs> so, not that that was a good thing. I, you know, I was a little sad about not having a lot of company, but as it turns out, my husband's brother came over and he was there and he told me, you're not a real cook until you've had a fire in your oven. So I guess I'm a real cook now. Let's see how long we need to make these. You can make them longer. I don't normally even trim these down, but no sense wasting the fabric, so. Okay. Do them all the same length. Okay, and what I'm going to do here is glue stick these down and then I'll take them to the sewing machine and sew them. But I like to glue stick them to the end. Um, you know, I took the book page and folded it over and just to get a little stiffness to it. And then I like to glue them down just a little and let it dry before I sew them so that um, they don't move around a bunch. Not the best, <laughs> not the best sewer. I don't like them to be real neat and all like perfectly on there. So I kind of move them around some. Some going this way, some going that way. Red one again. Another Christmas tree, and that should do it. Okay, so there's one of them. We'll set that aside and um, do the other ones real quick. need that quite so big. Cut it down a little. I like it when the fabric hangs over more. Okay, so 
start with green this time, red. And a Christmas tree. Also, we had a um, little bit of an interesting, I had a hard time cooking everything because my stepson is on a, um, he's on a special diet right now. He can't have dairy or wheat. So <laughs> it was a challenge. He had to have special gravy, uh, special potatoes for him. Of course, the turkey was fine. Um... Yeah, poor guy. And then I would say, oh, did you get any of that pie? And then, oh man, I'm so sorry I forgot. Because this has only been going on for a couple of months that they put him on this diet. And um, I would forget. And then I'm like, I'm so sorry I keep rubbing it in that you can't have stuff. I felt so bad. I asked him today, I'm like, oh, did you try that pie? It's like, no. He's a good kid. He's taking it in stride and some kids would complain and fuss and he just, he just doesn't. He knows it's how it is for right now and Oh, I made that one little. They're getting smaller and smaller. And one more. There we've got them. And I'll show you what they're going to look like on the page so you can see it. But I'm not going to um, sew them right now because I need to change the thread in my machine and everything. So I won't make you wait on me. Let's see though. I don't like it there. Oh yeah, that's cute right there. What's on the back? Nope. Looks really cute with that. I like how the material hangs out. You get all that book page on there so that you just see the material from the back. There, those are so cute. Well, I think that is all for today. We've got a few things done and I will um, get those sewn up and work on this again another time. Um, please go ahead and hit the like and subscribe if you haven't already done so. I really appreciate your support and um, my um, thousand subscriber giveaway is still going on. I am going to link that video below. If you haven't entered yet, please do so. I'm um, trying to get it to a thousand subscribers so we can do this big giveaway. It's over 50 items. And um, take a look at the video and see what all there is to get. And please um, go ahead and enter to win that. My Etsy shop is also linked below. That's it for now. Take care until next time. Bye, everybody.